Hey everybody, Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up YouTube? I brought Snoopy, say hello. Hello. And this is the long-awaited, long-promised King of Beers versus the Champagne of Beers review. That's right, folks. It's the battle of the working man's beer. Budweiser, American adjunct lager versus Miller High Life. Now, I have never been a fan of Budweiser beer in terms of the lager, nor have I ever really been a Miller guy. So this will be interesting. Uh, I am enjoying currently a 12 ounce serving, canned, mind you, of Budweiser lager. Uh, this particular brew is being served to me in a Pilsner. Christina, you can see this color. Yes. And it's very light. Very light yellow. Looks no. almost like, not even an amber, it looks almost like a light beer. Exactly. I was going to say, there's no orange to it to darken it up at all. Right. And, I, I, and folks, I've been drinking craft brews for quite some time now, and maybe I'm a little spoiled by the quality that goes, the craftsmanship that goes into these beers versus commercially uh, produced beer. But let's go ahead and take a sip. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. And by the way, folks, uh, the Budweiser Lager Tail of the Tape, 145 calories per 12-ounce serving. 5% ABV, and a 2.37 rating on Beer Advocate. Okay. Ooh. And how does it actually taste? It, it needs body. Um, it's definitely, if you're a commercial beer person, it's what you're accustomed to. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with a working man's beer after a hard day, but this is not something that I would drink normally. I, for me, beer has to be an experience. I want something that's, I, I'm a dark beer person, so I would want something that I can almost chew when I drink it, want something that has a little more head to it, a little more body to it. Um, but again, for a standard commercial beer, something you can enjoy with food. You know, I've always said that craft beer should be enjoyed uh, as a standalone or sparingly with food. This is definitely something you would have with food. Again, I'm not a light beer person. Um, I, I opted for the, the lager, or in this case, the American adjunct lager uh, from Budweiser, hoping to get a little more body to it. But it's a standard beer, folks. You can definitely taste the can uh, in this particular serving. Um, I'm not going to give it a snob rating yet until I conclude the review after the next segment, so stay tuned for the Miller High Life. So stick around, folks. We'll be back shortly with the next segment. Hey, everybody. Justin from FrugalSnobs.com. What's up, YouTube? This is the second part of the long-awaited King of Beers versus Champagne of Beers review. Brock Stoneth, me say hello. Hello. And I am enjoying out of a champagne flute as imaged, because it is the champagne of beer, folks, a Miller High Life. Beer Advocate gives this particular brew a 2.7, 4.1% alcohol by volume, ABV, 153 calories per 12-ounce serving. Go ahead and give this a sip. And how would you rank, or how would you rate this? Tastes a little different from the champagne flute, believe it or not. I would probably rate this at probably a 3.5 uh, star snob rating. Uh, just simply for the drinkability. If you want something that is low on alcohol by volume, so low on the ABV, so you don't have consequences, but also higher on calories, maybe you're using it as a workout supplement, or some people do, um, I would actually think about picking up a Miller High Life actually as, a, as an option. I'm not a Miller man, never have been, but I picked up Miller High Life um, as a working man's beer, a commercial beer, and really kind of a beer from a generation prior to my own. Um, again, the slogan I think was always, if you've got the time, we've got the beer. Um, and uh, I would say I was pleasantly surprised by Miller High Life. Um, in terms of drinkability, I would say it is more drinkable, believe it or not, than the Budweiser. Um, and again, like I said, with the low ABV, the higher calories, again, balance the, the needs that you have out, folks. Enjoy with standard snacks or just a meal. I mean, it's a drinkable beer. It's a good working man's beer. I was very pleasantly surprised, as I mentioned. So check it out. Um, of course, both beers have their merits. But again, regardless of your choice, whether it's commercial beer or craft beer, uh, always enjoy responsibly, of course. So I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Hope you enjoyed the review for both Budweiser, the king of beers, and Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. As always, enjoy responsibly. Be well. Never pay retail. If you like what you see, what you hear, Please subscribe to the channel. It helps us out. And also, check out the Frugal Snobs podcast. Everything you need to know.